Oh shoot, what's good y'all? What's poppin'? Yeah, um, for one thing, I am ready to leave New York City because right now, it's a million reasons. Yeah, that wind, that freezing cold wind just blew the hood off my head. It's freezing out here. It makes no sense. I am sick and tired of this cold. I don't need it. I need heat, man. I am made to be in the extra warm, hot climate. That's what I'm made for. I need my bones, my skin. I need hot weather. I need sun. I also need the heat so I can stay active outside better. I don't like to do anything in the cold. So, let me see. What was I going to talk about today? Uh, yeah, for one thing, there was somebody who was telling me, oh, okay, let me see. I was talking to my cousin. Some of you guys know about, I was telling you about my cousin who said that he has prostate cancer that he just got diagnosed with maybe a month ago and he did buy a Nutra Ninja and he started doing smoothies but the thing is out here let me let me explain to you guys don't even listen to what I say listen to doctors there are doctors who deal with plant-based nutrition and health who have cured many different ailments out here listen to what they say you know you can you can listen to what I say but back up the information that I say you know find out a little bit of extra look at my man here he found a wallet my man right there found a wallet and he's checking out he's emptying out checking out everything I saw him pick it up on the ground he's just there's like a quarter was in there or something. I don't know. Seems pretty empty, but anyway. Anywho. Oh, he just, yeah, he just dropped all type of stuff. The wallet's on the ground. He dropped all type of stuff that's not valuable there. But anyway, uh, what was I talking about? What the? Yeah, so my cousin, he is a weed smoker cigarette smoker doesn't really smoke cigarettes a lot but he still smokes cigarettes he also drinks hard liquor every day and been doing it since he was under 10 years old and he's in his late 50s now now he just told me yesterday that he wanted to be concerned with his health he asked about different people to watch on YouTube to help with his nutrition. He asked for my advice. And it's real funny how people do. You know, because the thing I say always is you have to you you have to educate yourself. The more you educate yourself, because you can do smoothies, you can eat different foods, and if you don't know why you're doing it and the best way to do it. And, and I'm freezing right now, y'all. It's freezing. It's freezing out here. Um, look at this. This thing is waving in the wind because it is freezing cold. Winter air just blowing. So, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so you can do all types of things. Smoothies, foods not understand that you know the things I do I don't do I don't just do it just to be doing it it's a it's a method behind what I'm doing everything I'm doing I, that I do is for nutrition and the specifics of what and why I do things now a lot of times if you eat like a salad let's say let's keep it simple you eat a salad you're like oh I'm eating a salad I'm eating healthy but then you put shredded cheese on it or you put different type of heavy dressings on it and drown it in dressings. That defeats the whole purpose here. 
and I was gonna thank you. Let me hold this for you. No, it's okay. Come on, I got it. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. So, I was gonna do this video outside, but it's too it's too cold out there. I gotta get in. I gotta go inside, man. So, if you're doing certain things and it is done incorrect, then you're defeating the purpose. Like, why get a ninja blender and then you put in like regular milk or sugar or something unhealthy in your smoothies talk about some ice cream or something talking about yeah I had a smoothie like that's retarded that's just like being on a treadmill and you're drinking a soda while you're on a treadmill I'm talking about like a 32 ounce or something so I'm just saying it's all, it all depends on not what you do but it's how you do and also, oh yes, I'm inside with this heat. So also, let me set myself up here. If you're going to want to better your health, then instead of, like my cousin was talking to me yesterday and he was saying, he was like, no, no, really. Okay, for one thing he said, yeah, I, um, I went to, me and my buddy, we went, we got some barbecue sandwiches and um, we had, you know, a couple of drinks. When I mean drinks, he's, you know, he's drinking like liquor, liquor. Um, he said, yeah, so we decided to go ahead and get another sandwich. By the time we went back to get another sandwich, he said, my foot started swelling up. Like, I don't know, there's this movie called I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. That's back in like the 80s or early 90s, something like that, whatever. And, um... It's like the person's foot like swell up like the big French Flintstone foot and everything like overly swell up. But anyway, so he's laughing about it. He's saying how he been in the house for four days. Now, my thing is, that's not funny. There's nothing funny about that. Um, I, talk, I explained to him about how you got to keep your body alkaline in an alkaline state because if you keep your body in an acid state like he's doing, then, yeah, that's what makes and promotes disease. That's what keeps cancers and all type of things just being able to grow and spread in your body. The more alkaline you do things, keeping it clean, then you don't have to worry about those things. You have to do like steamed fruit, um, steamed vegetables, um, like organic fruit, uh, water. Water that's, matter of fact, like, look at this. This is, this is a 9.5 pH value on this water right here, 9.5. I mean, it's uh, just like it says, overachieving H2O. I mean, it, you know, the whole point is the 9.5 pH. Um, like I said, too, if you can't get water and you're not sure the pH, then buy something that's like, that's an alkalizing type of thing that will take the pH value you know make it higher and more healthy now my thing is um so he's telling me he's like no really like you know i i, I really i haven't had a drink I, I really haven't i really haven't and so i'm saying like i'm on the phone with him and i'm listening and i'm like dude and this is with anybody you don't have to convince me it's not about me it's about you and your own individual health. You don't have to convince me with your words. It's actions. Your actions is going to show from whatever you do that you put on the inside is going to show on the outside. So if you see people with bad skin, it's going to show because, you know, because their diet is wrong. They're eating too much grease, too much sweets, too much sugars. You know, they're doing too much things that are bad for them. And with him eating barbecue sandwich, I mean, I talk to him all the time, and he always tell me, and I don't never get on people, and trust me, my vegans don't never get on somebody about anything. Just let them do what they do, you do what you do, and they will question always, it always comes back where they question you, 
whether it's something about their health comes up or they just see how good you're looking and doing and feeling. And they always will ask. They'll ask. So don't push it. And when they ask, then you let them know. And don't stress it. Don't keep going on and on and on. Just like, you know, let them know some facts here. And, you know, and, and that's really it. Because the more that you force somebody, the more they're not going to want to do it anyway. So anyway, he's trying to convince me how he's, you know, and he's going to, like, I'm getting ready to go make a smoothie now. Trust me, you don't smoke weed today. And when I say you smoke weed, a lot of people say, oh, well, weed is healthy. It's from the earth. I used to think that dumb crap, too. It's three years that I stopped smoking. And I wish I would have been stopped smoking years ago. Um, you know, I used to smoke in what they call like a blunt where, you know, you just roll in the cigar paper and stuff. So for one thing, the cigar paper, well, that's tobacco. Like that's, you know, nicotine. That's what helps clog arteries and blood vessels. Also, there's a lot of places that don't have, like I'm going to Arizona, as we know, and the... We there, I hear from, you know, I got nephews over there. They're saying that it's more like of a natural type of thing or whatever. They have, well, you know, because they have the chemical places that grow it. And um, I don't know if chemical places, but it's the places that grow it, you know, and it's different varieties or whatever's supposed to be natural and better. But if, you know, if you're rolling it up and I'm just against it all, all together, no matter what. Then you got the cigarette smoking. You know, you got your, your beer, your alcohol, all that stuff is causing your body to be in an acid state. Being in that acid state is going to keep you sick. It's going to make you break down one way or another. You're going to have arthritis. You're going to have aches and pains. You're going to have headaches. You're going to have, um, you know, it's just any type of disease you can think about, then you will get that. Um, I'm not talking about like anything like, of course, like sexual diseases and things like that. Like, no, I'm talking about cancerous and, you know, heart problems and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so at the end of the day, man, that's just a little story I just wanted to share with you guys. And, um, you know, maybe you can, you know, relate to somebody who's like that. Um, hopefully you're not like that yourself. And if you are, man, like, you know, come on, man, get it together. You know, try to do a little bit better because I, I want the best for you. So, as we know, I'm moving. The video I did yesterday, I really appreciate it. I got a lot of views on it and things. The funny part is, I got like two thumbs down. I haven't, in 600 videos that I've done, I haven't got, I've got maybe two thumbs down within the 600 videos. Yesterday I shared stuff like, you know, with your, your friends, your family. They're the worst supporters sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. And please, if my friends and family are watching this, prove me wrong. But at the end of the day, I did get, and I do have one person that has donated. And I'll do a video on this also, explaining more about it and stuff. But even for my GoFundMe account, I, you know, somebody was telling me, you know, I'll, if I was rich, I would donate. And somebody else was saying, um, I'll donate if you pay my mortgage for now, help me pay my mortgage from now on. Only thing I'm saying is, look, this is just a simple gesture of the heart if you want to. And I would really appreciate it. Five. $10, $20, you know, no big deal. That little bit amongst a lot of people will help to make a big difference with the move and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So, yeah, so thanks for watching. Also, too, it's real funny. I'm looking at my bananas here. I have like a whole bunch of bananas. And see these spots on it? That's the way your banana's supposed to be. You know, I, I got bananas on top of bananas on top of bananas. So I was doing a client yesterday, and my client said to me, she said, you always, you always have a lot of bananas. Why you eat so many bananas? So, yeah, that's another story I'll tell you all at another time. So, yeah, man. So, thanks for watching. Love you guys, man. Your boy, Chocolate Vegan, the vegan Batman. Keeping it. Got to try to stay warm, man. I say I got to try to stay warm until I get to AZ. Until I get to AZ. So, help your boy out. Holler at me. Love you guys. Peace out, man. It's not about me, man. It's about we. Be vegan.